number two. <laughs> It's exactly, it's exactly what you want to hear at the start of an art video, <laughs> number two. Hello art friends, we are back with another art vlog. Uh, we're calling these like studio vlogs, but I know that studio vlogs can sometimes involve like packing orders and doing stuff like that. And studios. Yeah, <laughs> you don't actually have a studio. When we're doing studio vlogs, we're still just going to be making artwork. Yeah, so. we're just going to be like sat at a desk instead because it's a little bit easier. But we're still going to be making art. We're still not going to have a studio. <laughs> and we're still going to be us. A studio vlog. Yeah. <laughs> so for this one, I thought it would be really fun because it's currently Saturday night time. Yes. And I thought it might be fun if we order like a pizza in. Why? Because we don't order pizzas in very often, so it would be a special treat. But, but, but why? We can have like a pizza party. Because? We want to draw something pizza themed. Because it's our channel anniversary, you dingus! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we're celebrating! <laughs> We've been on YouTube for six years, hun. Yeah, we normally do something like every year to celebrate our channel. Apart from last year, we went on YouTube early. Those were the dark times. So this year, we are celebrating with a pizza. Specifically, because we can only really get in this country Papa John's pizza. Oh. Well, I guess the drawing doesn't even have to be pizza themed. Then I, I just said that because you were pushing me for more. <laughs> Oh look, it's 40% Oh wow, that's awesome. 40% off. Look what I got my hand on. Oh yeah, following the previous video, because I... This was my fault, guys. I shown the wrong ones on the video. I shown the pencils. Yeah, it was the markers that I was after. And I couldn't find the markers anywhere in the country, but the coloured pencils were. And I was writing about that on, like, stream or something. And then someone just sent me a link and were like, Look, they're in the UK now. I know the words. <laughs> it's so like, I, was like, I see. <laughs> So we can incorporate those. Can I have a or... can I have a look? Yeah, I want yeah, here's a little tease for you guys. So these are them. 24. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest like Crayola marker sets I've ever got. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Are you gonna swatch them all? I, <gasps> I bet you will. I am now. <laughs> right then, should we get to ordering pizza? And then when the pizza comes, we'll uh, I guess we'll draw something, yeah. <laughs> Guys, why don't you get some pizza or your favourite snack and just draw along with us? Yeah, it'll be like an arty night and we'll all celebrate doodle bits. We're, we're now just yes. waiting. <laughs> you hungry? Mm-hmm. For pizza. Mm. Oh, oh my god, it's literally- it's doing it! Oh my god, we're away. They're making it. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> in the previous video you might have noticed that Steph got me these and yeah, then I- Yeah, I got you those and then- Probably forgot, forgot to use them. <laughs> So I thought, hey, we're celebrating. So let's celebrate the fact that Steph got us some pencils. And these are number, oh, they're number two. Ooh, I wonder if they're quite dark. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're like twisty ones. You just twist it out. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the lead's quite big as well. Let's see, let's go from like light. Let's go from really light to dark. Let's have a look how, what the range we can get in this is. Hey, you know what? That's not too bad. Yeah, considering it's like a Crayola one that I picked mm -hmm. up really cheap. Yeah. I mean, the light's obviously super light, but for a number two, I think it's, it's a number two HB one. So, it, you know, you're not going to get super, super dark, but uh, that's like, like that's fine. Just to like draw stuff with, like that's fine. You draw like a guinea pig. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, that's cute. Guinea pig. Oh, you're busting into them over there. Yeah, I'm just starting to open these up so that I can do some swatches. Oh, do they, what's going on there? Yeah, it's coming separate boxes. There's Ooh. two boxes in here. Hey, for Crayola, that's pretty fancy. I remember when I was a kid, they'd just stuff them into a box and that, like, that was it. Ooh. Interesting. I wonder if it's got, like, different tones or, like, shades. Yeah, maybe. So, let's see. We've got the... Yellow box. So what's in that one, Dale? Oh, there's quite a range of colours in that one. You want to lift it up a little bit, I cannot see. It's Isn't interesting it well, that it comes in two boxes. The box that it comes in, I think you can actually colour in on it. So oh, that's so cute. Oh. I wonder if it says the colour name on them as well. Just so we can tell them all. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it's got the colour names on the barrel. Oh, help them oh, with shaky hands. Light, medium, golden. There we go. There we go.
Oh, is it here? Mm -hmm. What have we got there, hun? It's a pizza. <laughs> You're ready. I'm so ready, honey. Oh, that looks awesome. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. So, while I'm waiting for this pizza to be a temperature that isn't like a La molten it's sun. It's like lava, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> I thought I'd just give a quick rundown about what's going on with my wrist. So, I have struggled with problems with my wrist since, I don't know, I'm trying to think like how long it's been going on, but definitely since childhood, like well, primary school. When you were a kid, you broke your right one really bad, didn't you? And it never really healed I properly. I fractured it, and I have a thing called an ulnar drift, so my hand kind of... Kind of tilts a little bit, yeah. I can, I can show you guys. This wrist is a lot more like normal, as you can see, it goes up like that. But this one, it tilts, and for a lot of years I've been getting what I thought was like carpal tunnel and um it's only just dawned on me recently that maybe i'm struggling so much with like rust pains because of the drift in like my wrist because, yeah. yeah so i've been talking to uh, my doctor about it and she wants to refer me to a specialist but because of the way that things are at the moment it's going to be like a huge waiting queue but that at cucumber least incident hun it's taking its toll <laughs> i'm just relieved to even be on like this waiting list uh, so I'll probably keep you up to date with whatever goes on with this journey but my doctor has recommended for the time being uh, to wear a wrist brace to try and like stabilize like the joint or to keep it upright uh, you know like as it should yeah mm -hmm. yeah um, so it's like at the moment I'm trying to like recalibrate myself because I'm, I'm drawing kind of like wonkily and stuff like I mean, quickly show you these swatches that oh, She was devastated that I they know, weren't aesthetic. The, there's quite a few that are like touching each other and they're all a bit skew with and it's because like I'm having to sort of train my hand to draw in like a position that it's not used well, you to. Well you think all the years it. you've been drawing with your wrist in one place and now you've yeah, like suddenly moved if it. If this can help like me to not be in pain anymore that would be such a big help because I haven't really been able to draw an awful lot like this past year because my wrist's been in like such bad pain. Also, the doctor recommended this stuff, which I didn't even know was a thing, in oh. case any of you guys struggle with this yeah. as well. It's a gel, isn't it? Yeah, it's a painkiller that is also literally like a gel, so I, I can rub this on my wrist when uh, it causes problems. Oh. Well. If anything's gonna cure wrist pain with this one, it's gonna be some pizza. <laughs> Is it good? All right, we're we're considerably stuffed, so I think it's time to art something. What do you think, Frog Mama? I think my tummy is full of pizza right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing that I've found that these art vlogs are great for is to finish off stuff. I have so many things that I'll do and not finish. I should really start doing that as well, but I end up getting carried away and just drawing something new. <laughs> <laughs> but like this one, I've been working on this on stream. This is actually a watercolour one this time. I've been using some very fancy Daniel Smith paints, so I might use those to try and finish this one up today. And over here, I'm... I'm gonna go up and try to sketch some cows. Oh, wonderful. In case you're wondering, the reason that I'm using blue for the shading is because, not because she's dead, um, it's because, well amethyst, what colour, is amethyst blue or purple? Amethyst is like a purple. Okay, so she's not heavily bruised, it's just because 
I'm using a limited color palette because the Daniel Smith, I, I, I'm sure as you guys will probably know who use watercolors and such, Daniel Smith paints are hecka expensive. They're like super fancy. So we only have a few. Uh, what I can do is I can tell you the ones we've got actually. We have Jadeite uh, Green. It's a Jadeite one. We have Ro Redangan. I called this Rosangan on a stream and everyone laughed at me, but that's like pink. It's a pink one. Uh, hem Hematite. If I say these, I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of these are very fancy names. Uh, Pymontite. Pymontite? Pymontite? Uh, Mayan blue. This is like my favorite one. I think I used the Mayan blue for the uh, fabric here. I really like that one. You can tell because I've like, used loads of it. And the amethyst one that we're using like now. This one. But that's it. The, the, I think those are the only ones we have because uh, Daniel Smith, like I say, are wonderful. They're really, really good. But uh, I yeah, <laughs> with, with that comes a hefty price. But I... Daniel Smith, I think, is one of the things that's actually worth it. And I'm not related to him. In a, is he still alive? I don't know. But um, I'm not related to Daniel Smith in any way. Uh, shout out to him if he's still alive. I doubt it. But, yeah. What have you got over there? Is that a pizza? Okay, because we've been eating I like pizza. that, yeah. And I've combined it with the cows, so we've got pizza cows. And I've been thinking for a while it would be cool to like mix a pizza and a cow together because they've already got like the... They're both dairy themed. And no, I mean because they've got the black and white splotches. Oh, okay, yeah, that, but that doesn't mean... Pepperoni <laughs> on top of like the yellow cheese. That's thing. better than what I thought, yeah. I was just thinking cheese, milk, you know. Also, here's some that I did in a Patreon live stream recently. Oh, I was wow. wearing my wrist brace for this. So this is like some of my first ever drawings I did wearing I this. love the blue. Oh, that's really nice. I definitely don't fully have like the control in my hand just yet, so these might be extra wibbly wobbly. And... I think that that's going to come with practice. Though. I mean, you've literally just started, you know. Also, this was the one that I did in the last studio vlog. It and was. I added some washi tape to the bottom. Oof. Oof, we love washi tape. We love embellishments here on the Doodle Day channel, honey. I'm also using this uh, pencil as well. Oh, you busting out the twistable, honey? It's I'm really, really impressed. Flat on the end, isn't it? It's it's quite flat when you first use it, but I think it naturally shines happens like as you use it. I'm very impressed with it dear. Now, what have you got over there? Okay, so I'm just doing, because uh, I got these post-it notes in a haul Ooh. recently. That was over on my Steph Socks channel, if you haven't seen. Indeed. Uh, because since I don't have as much control with my hand at the moment and I'm really learning like how to draw. Okay. One of my cows had like a really skinny leg and it was too skinny, so I put a post-it note over it. it chose yellow because it looks kind of like cheese. Oh yeah, okay. And. Uh, Adam went and got me the prick stick so that I can fully like stick it down. Can I just say, would you mind holding that again? That is the tiniest it prick is. stick I've ever seen. It is. <laughs> you sniff it, don't sniff glue. <laughs> Going back to these double-ended ones that I was using last week. These Ooh. are Crayola, literally called double do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> double doodlers. Just think they look really cute. Oh, and yeah. this one's the perfect like pizza cheese color, I reckon. So, <laughs> if there isn't a Crayola called pizza cheese, there needs to be. <laughs> so let's color in some pizza cows. 
I think that's such a cute idea as well. Like the, the whole animals combined with, you know how we do like dogs with jobs and stuff like that, but like animals with uh, food. food animals, did you call them? Oh, that's something that me and Melissa have been doing since like school, but Aww. Uh, it seems to be a really like popular idea these days. Are you trendsetting her? No, no, it's, I think it's just one of those ideas that everyone thinks of at some point in their lives. And they're like, oh my god, this is such a good idea. And then you're like, oh. Animal <laughs> plus food? I wanted to use these. Did, have we used these on a video before? There we go, they're in for. Is it? Yeah? Yeah, they've got like a little brushes. rooster on. Yeah, I really like the chicken, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't remember if we used these in a video or not, but I figured it'd be fun to like make it a little bit mixed media. I think we did in like a vintage pencils one, and I might have drawn that aesthetic fruit bowl in it. Oh, is that, is that when we used? No, oh my god, it's been eight. There was another pack of uh, pencils that we used as well, I think, though. Ooh, okay. Although Adam's got quite a few vintage art supplies, that's like one of his quirks, he loves collecting uh, I do, I really like collecting the old stuff. Obviously it's been like uh, a hot minute since we've been able to get some, but uh, I'm always keeping my eye out looking for some. Alright, so here's what I managed to actually finish, which I'm super pleased with. I love how it became like a mixed media thing in the end. I think the real star of the show though is pizza cows, because they look so cute. Do you think I did okay, considering I've got my hand in the... I think, what do you guys think? Thing? I think you did a great job, honestly, yeah. Also, we can't forget to mention... <laughs> Boomer. Yes. Yeah. Cereal fairy. Uh-huh. <gasps> Doodles and me, wow. Where can you get those, hun? Amazon. <laughs> there will be links below. And don't forget to join us next time for another... Another Doodle Net.